Okay, I thought I'd do a short little video here. This is a smoking a bandit truck. Wanted to show a couple things on it. This is the Kenworth 1989. It's a W900. This is a long nose. It also has the extended sleeper on it. Smokey and the Bandit truck had a uh, 36 inch sleeper and had a short nose. You have to make one modification on the fifth wheel when you uh, hook up an MN trailer, MN trailer to these Road King trucks. And that is on the the fifth wheel in the center where the pin goes. What you need to do is get a quarter inch drill bit and drill that out. Now be careful because this is attached by two uh, small plastic pins on each side of it. So you, you just have to be careful that you don't break those. So be real careful when you do it. The reason you need to do that if you have an M in trailer is if you see the pin right there that's just really it's just a, a bolt with a nut on it the nut is why you need to drill that out to a quarter inch by drilling that out to a quarter inch that allows that pin to fit all the way down into the fifth wheel I don't know if this will pick it up or not. And see if I can line it up. And there it is. The pin is in the fifth wheel. If you didn't drill that out, that nut will sit on top of it and leave a gap. So that's just one little minor modification that you have to make. It's real quick, real easy. Here's the trailer. Doing this on my GoPro camera, so I'm trying to hand hold it here. Don't have a lot of room to work in with this. This is a rather large combination this makes for a very nice display unit though the MN trailers are really well put together they're nice heavy duty they're all metal they do a very good job on them See if I can get the right side a little bit. Let's go back around to the back. On these MN trailers, they do a pretty good job of trying to duplicate the locking mechanisms for the trailer. Yeah, let's see if I can get this so I can show you. That right here are your handles, and these come out and it pivots, and then you lift up on it a little, and that releases it down here is where it locks it in. And now you can open up your, your doors. I've got the handle out, so you can open up your door. And I don't know if this will show the inside well because it's so dark. But it's got like a simulated wood uh, flooring on it. Pretty nice unit that they've done. I 
Yeah. See, now I got it. I don't know if you can see it or not from the light. But it slides into a small slot. And then you have two little pins here that your handle pivots into, which would simulate a, being able to put a paddle lock on it like a real semi-trailer. Here's their wheels. They use uh, real metal wheel rims, rubber tires. Their hand, they're turned on a lathe, so they make them all. But that's your MN trailers. This is a smoking the Bandit trailer, and that's the Kenworth W900 in the smoking the Bandit paint theme. It's not an exact copy of the Smoking a Bandit truck. There are some m mistakes on it. Running boards, uh, several little mistakes. You know, sleepers uh, larger than the truck in the movie. And this has this is a long nose Kenworth. But I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.